the best horror franchise of all time, Evil Dead, is back with a brand new film that is hitting theaters next week. And I'm really excited to talk to you about this brand new installment because this might be one of the best films in the franchise. Let's get to the review. Welcome back film fans, it is Brad from Let's Be Real Brad and today in the channel I want to talk to you guys about the brand new horror film called Evil Dead Rise. Evil Dead Rise is the fifth installment in the Evil Dead franchise and it is the second soft reboot of the franchise as this film is written and directed by Lee Cronin who I'm not too familiar with his work but I am now because this movie was really dang good. Evil Dead Rise is exactly what I wanted this film to be. To go back to the roots of the first Evil Dead film but also have a spin on it. Do something different. Make it fresh. When the first few images of this movie were released online of the mother just standing through the doorway I knew that this movie had the potential of being such a great film because it looks so creepy and disturbing and that's exactly what this movie is. So let's break down each one of these aspects as I normally do in these reviews and I want to start with the horror. This is easily the best aspect about the film and why people are going to be going to see this movie is because they want to be scared, they want to be disturbed, and they want to be entertained and I feel as though all three of those things were done for this film. The horror is presented in a way of not just your typical jump scares and loud noises. This movie is really damn creepy and disturbing. I felt myself just trying to hide from this movie and I'm usually pretty critical of your typical studio horror films. This franchise goes for it. It is really bloody and gory and insanely violent. I also found the cinematography to be pretty good in this movie, especially with the lighting. This is a very good looking film, especially with how dark and creepy this movie looks and all the great shots in this movie. I found myself to be very immersed because of this and you get the feeling that this is going to be a different type of movie based on the presentation alone. This has such great visual effects especially with this movie utilizing as much practical effects as it possibly can because this movie looked real. I mean there's so many moments in this movie where I could not tell if there was CGI or it was a mix of CGI and practical effects because it just looks so convincing and I gotta give so much props to all the artists who've worked on all the Evil Dead films because that has been the staple of this franchise. I also really love the makeup and the hair design because this is such a great aspect of this film, especially when it comes to the mother who is just so convincing and so sadistic. And obviously her performance is phenomenal, but so much of it does come from the look of her character. So one of the biggest changes from the traditional Evil Dead franchise is its story as it normally takes place in the middle of the woods in a cabin. There's this evil force that comes in there and you have a bunch of teenagers. They're all being dumb and all bunch of crazy shit happens. But in this film it relies in a apartment complex with this family and it is just very different and it still has your typical Evil Dead references that the diehard fans will get but I don't feel as though they're in your face and annoying like they work more for the plot itself rather than just being a reference that the fans are just going to recognize and it just feels so different but also more personal as we get a lot more character development with these characters you actually care about these people so when something bad happens to one of them you actually feel something and that's where I kind of put this movie really high on my list of the Evil Dead films because I really cared about these characters. The performances in this movie are really good here especially because I didn't really know anybody in this movie and I thought that everyone did a great job especially Lily Sullivan who plays the mother. She was phenomenal. I mean she literally took 
over in this film. And I wish the Academy would nominate people from the horror genre because she should easily be nominated. The kids in this movie do a really good job and I thought they gave some really good performances as children, which is something that I don't like to get too much into because they're kids, but when they're really good like this, I have to give them a lot of praise, especially having kids in peril in a very contemporary modern day horror film, which is something that we really don't see a lot. Unfortunately, this film does have a few criticisms here, as I would have to go with the writing. As much as I enjoy that this movie is a different and fresh retelling of the Evil Dead franchise and its traditional storyline, I did feel this has a very basic structure of your typical studio horror film, as it was very reminiscent of movies like The Conjuring and Insidious, and even some of the presentation choices with some of the loud noises and the way the characters moved on the screen. I did find this quite distracting considering all the Evil Dead films are very distinct and very original and different from the typical horror films that are released at the theater and that was just a little disappointing for me. One of the things that really bugged me in this movie that didn't really bother me for really any of the other Evil Dead movies was the music. As the music was really good and it added to so many of the more intense horrifying scenes but there are so many in the middle that were just so loud and overbearing and they were just trying to manipulate the audience and the final negative I have with the film is the fact that this is your very typical an hour and a half horror film that just does exactly what you think it's going to do. It's not trying to be this amazing, well-written horror film as it's just going for the Evil Dead fans, just trying to be an entertaining new film for new fans. And there isn't a lot of complex characters or a very typically original story. And I do have to throw this in here because a lot of people are going to really love this film, but to put it all in perspective, I do think this movie just needs to do a little bit more if you're going to be one of the best horror films of the year or just of all time. So Evil Dead Rise is exactly what the fans are looking for, being a very disturbing, entertaining, and very creepy horror film that will introduce new fans to this franchise, a brand new movie that they're gonna wanna go back and watch the others because this movie works without seeing the other films. And I found this movie to have so much love and appreciation for the Evil Dead franchise while also making something different. And this movie is definitely worth your time checking out at the theater next week and I think you guys won't be disappointed. Thank you guys so much for checking out this review as I want to know below in the comment section how excited are you for this brand new movie and where do you think you will rank it with the other Evil Dead films or if you've seen it where would you rank it among the other Evil Dead films? I can't wait to hear about those. Before you guys check out this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button leave a like as you always should and ring that notification bell so I can see you all in the following video. Yeah.